Okay, today I'll show you how to make custom boot logos on an iPod Touch 2nd generation 2.2.1 firmware. So let me just prove to you that I do have a custom boot logo. Okay, there's my boot logo. Now, in the description, you'll see two links. One is for Quick Freedom, the other for NOR Flash Untethered. You want to download both of those. Now, what you're going to do is, I know that it says, um, no restore. You are going to have to put your iPod in a DFU mode and go into iTunes. And you're, But you're going to restore using this NOR Flash, and that's only in charge of the pictures of your iPod. It won't erase any of your apps, games, videos, music. It'll erase nothing. It'll only change your, to your boot logo that you want. Okay. What you want to do is open up a picture creator like Paint.net, which I'll have in the video description, or a or like GIMP, one of those, something like that. Hit New. You want to do File New, and you want to make the width 320, the height 480. Just hit OK. You want to make sure that they're pixels. Hit OK. You should get that. Now you can. You can paint your own. You can get a picture off the internet. You can you, you can just basically make your own. I have a picture on the internet that I'm going to use. So I'll just drag, drop it here. Okay, now once you have your picture that you want to use, you have to make, you have to create one transparent pixel. That's the only way the iPod will read the, read the picture. So if you're using paint.net down here, it'll probably say layers. There will probably be two. One of your picture and then one of the background. You want to uncheck background. Okay, so once that's done, you want to you probably want to zoom in almost all the way. I'm just going to go that far. And I'm going to use the scroll bars and I'm just going to put mine in the very top left corner. Once you do that, you want to click on the eraser tool, make it just the brush width only one. That means one pixel. And just right there, if you can see in the very, just erase it. Now, you see how it's checkerboard? Click it a few times. Checkerboard just means that it's transparent. So once you have one transparent pixel, you can zoom back to normal. You can't even notice it. So after you've got your picture with one transparent pixel, hit File, Save As. And the name of it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to name mine Boot. But it has to be .png. You have to make it a PNG image. Now, you would probably click Save, but I'm going to click Cancel because I have already have this image saved. So now you can exit out of there. Okay, so now here is my picture. So after you've got your picture, open up Quick Freedom, hit Jailbreak, and it should say on the very front page, Original 2.2.1 Firmware in Lib USB. It, you should auto automatically have Original 2.2.1 Firmware found, but if for some reason you don't, I'll put a, uh, a link in the video description. And if you don't have Lib USB installed, you can click right there, Install Lib USB. So once you have those two found and installed, hit Next. And if you look up here, it'll say install installer and use custom boot logo. You want to make sure that install installer is unchecked and use custom boot logo is checked. Now, once you check it, it should come up with this. There's already a few pictures that they've made automatically. You can pick one or right in the bottom right, use custom. Find your image. There's mine, boot.png. Open. Right here, it'll probably say custom image, which is fine. Just hit OK. And now once you have your selection made, hit Create Firmware. I already have the firmware created, so I won't, but it'll take probably 5 to 10 minutes. Nothing too bad. Okay. So once you come back, here's my custom firmware. Once you have your custom firmware created, you want to right-click on it and go down to Rename. Now instead of it, see at the VIN, it says .ipsw. You want to make it .zip. Enter. You'll probably get a warning. Just hit yes to it. And I have WinRAR, so it's changed to that icon. You might have something different, but so click on that, open it, and there should be some folders. You want to click on the firmware folder, then all flash, the only folder in there again, all flash like .n72, 
and there should it should say Apple logo. That should be right there. Just drag that out here, drag out to your desktop, and it'll make a copy. There it is. So now you can exit out of there. Okay, now you're done with the custom firmware. Now you want to right click NOR Flash and rename it to a .zip also. Okay, just hit yes again. And once that, you want to open up NOR Flash. Click on the same ones, firmware, all flash, all flash. And now there should be a thing that says Apple logo right there. You want to click on that and hit delete on your keyboard. Yes. And just let it delete. Now once you've deleted that, you want to drag the icon that you dragged out of the boot out of the firmware into here and just hit OK. Let it copy in there. Okay, now it should be right there, Apple logo at the very top. Now once it's in there and you see it in there, you can exit out of that and rename Norflash back to a .ipsw. Enter. Yes. Okay, now once you have it created, it should be back to that little icon right there. Once you have it created with your custom boot logo, you're going to want to take your iPod right here and hold it down, turn it all the way off. So slide to power off. Let it power off. Okay, now you're, you want it to boot into DF mode, DFU mode. And how you do that is you hold the home button and while holding it, you plug it in to your computer. So let me just do that. So I'm holding the home button now, taking my cord, plug it in, and keep holding it. It should be booting up, and then you should get this, connect to iTunes. Keep holding the home button this whole time, and iTunes should automatically pop up there in a few seconds, just wait. Keep holding the home button. You have to hold it for a while. Okay, um, let me try clicking on that soon. Oh, no, it just came up. It took kind of long, but it should come up by itself. And then you should get this message. It has detected uh, iPod recovery mode, whatever. Okay, okay, now you can let go of the home button. Hit OK to that message. Uh, let me just hit no. And now, here's the restore button. What you're going to want to do is hold shift. Hold the shift key. Right there, hold the shift key. Hold that down, and then click on restore. I've got, i got to use two hands. Now, once that happens, it sh the uh, folder should pop up. You want to go to wherever you have your North Flash saved, click on that, hit open. Now it should start doing this, and on your iPod, if you wait a few seconds, still doing some stuff up there, it should start booting up with your custom logo. Just leave it plugged in until it's all the way up, and nothing should be, everything should be the same with it.